That he has no reason to be happy mm -hmm. until he, his rampage is done. Yeah, and he's always so respectful. The only time you'll see him smile when he's in this kind of state is when he fist bumps his opponent. He just always lets everybody know it's okay, everything's good in the end. Landing the dash attack into the double up air. I don't think he was at high enough of a percent to get the drag down. He did not send VB's tumble. Yeah, Lucario is kind of a wonky weight for getting combos across, especially with a character as precise as Greninja. Yep. But nonetheless, we'll see Venia go through plenty of uh, options as he tries to take away this opportunity of winning Xenosaga 30 from Vivi, who's sitting here in winners. For those of you joining oh us God. a little late, Vivi put Venia into the loser's bracket. Let's see if he can take another win. Uh, unable to connect the down tilt into Florida. Um, it's a definitely a DI check. Because like the down tilt is such a quick burst option, it's difficult to react in DI in, in time unless you like that constantly aware of it. Uh, beautiful F tilt again. The way that Venny has been spacing the F tilts in the last three sets, in the last few sets that we've seen him, have been genuinely excellent. Um, to add on top of that, the fact that he's been doing it out of sliding, he's making sure that he maintains his momentum and he doesn't have to worry about the fact that Greninja is so rigid when he utilizes yeah. that move. It's got a dis disjoint to it, but. Uh, and the hitbox of, of uh, Vivi, able to contest with Venny, and Vivi already bringing the stock lead to himself. Okay, I feel like Vivi did something a little cute there. If you notice, he threw out a counter, was able to shield Venny as it was a bait. He knew that the counter would. Venny thought that he had enough time to punish it, and Vivi just like was like, you know what, I'm gonna have enough time to shield this, I'll be able to punish you for running into me. Oh, oh my God. that neutral Yeah, just like that. Vivi taking two stock leads here. Oh my God. And oh, then he just so you right back with the drag down up and into down smash. You have to be attacking those. But if you just think about how scary it is, you tech in, that's death. You tech in place, that's death. The only option is a tech out that Venya could have also... It's a 50-50. It's, it's nuts. It's so dangerous, too. You know, I was watching the set earlier when I was uh, on the, the train right here. Yeah. And I noticed that Vivi, normally he has a very good control of Lucario. It's good to say that he is a good Lucario player. But tonight, he is just playing like a great Smash player. He's making so many good decisions. Yeah. He's recognizing so many typical aspects of Lucario counterplay. He's calling out aggressive moves. He's knowing when to position himself so that he could set up. And he's knowing when to mix up if he's just going to threaten space or if he's going for his hit confirm into some ludicrously early kill. Yep, absolutely. Oh my god, and he... Okay, so I feel like if Venny had dashed in a little bit further to the center of the platform, he would have effectively covered every single roll option. I'm not sure if Lucario is a big enough body where the up smash hitbox can cover the entirety of PS2. Regardless, he's able to bring this back to last stock after losing both of his stocks really, really early, closing in the percentage. And again, Lucario, one of those characters that does not have the fastest out of shield options, you might say, hey, Dario, what about Neutral Air? Neutral Air does not have a big hitbox, and it does not hit characters at low profile like Greninja. Yeah, Greninja's stature is something we haven't really needed to bring up just because Venia hasn't really been in a disadvantage state in the past few games. Yeah. But the fact that he sits low to the ground, the fact that he dashes low to the ground, he's so squat that it's difficult to use those awkwardly positioned hitboxes like Lucario's. A lot of his moves swing upwards or start in some sort of upward position. Oh my god. But it doesn't matter. Venia manages to take all that momentum for himself. Despite the two stop steal the away. Yeah, no, he came back from out deep, but he is still on his warpath to win. Absolutely. Just Venia's ability to come back from, you know, any situation, his ability just to constantly keep up the aggression is honestly frightening. Like, I don't know how he does it. I just don't know how you're able to keep yourself so composed for so long like that. That's genuinely ridiculous. Um, so He's been a combatant for a really long time. Like, this isn't his first rodeo, and it's definitely not his first time being here in Grand's. You know, he knows what's on the line. It's the... I think it's just a matter of like the story of how we got here. The fact that it was Vivi of all people that laid the beat down on him, and not even through typical Lucario robbery. Like he's just been playing super solid, and we even saw that in game one. Like Vivi's just been playing really good. It's just that Venia wants to show that he's better. It's that simple. Taking things off yep. the stadium, so we once again see if this gives us any change of pace for Vivi. And it's kind of hard to see if we like what could Vivi change. He had the two stock lead. He was playing oh really God. well. What a beautiful tomahawk. Just Vivi was like so scared of getting hit with another smash attack. Venya's conditioning is crazy because that was like one of the only grabs that he's gone for in the set thus far. You know, one thing I do need to bring up about at least this matchup in particular is the fact that if Venya only spends the time like going for hit and run, not going oh. for his hit confirm, he's going to build up a ton of that aura really early on on Vivi, and it's going to help with at least 
making comebacks much easier for him, or even just maintaining stage yeah. control. Because you don't want to deal with four spheres that big. Yeah. And honestly, with Carlyo's bounce after the up is so difficult to punish, just because of the way that like he drifts upwards and falls really, really quickly. Wow. Was that an F That was forward throw, and I think a yeah. little bit of sus DI and the Vivi's no, F F down is actually a kill throw. No, it'll finish. kill, but even that, so, usually you don't see a character blink out of existence like that. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of rain and Vivi put it You know what? Percentage. He was expecting the down throw. He did not want to get, uh, like, down throw forward or something like that. Go down throw back in. Oh my god, Venya going so deep. His positioning to punish that was beautiful. Okay, now Vivi has burned his air dodge, he's able to get back onto stage. Venya covering the goal with the forward air. This is so scary for Vivi right now. How is he Ooh. landing all of these neutral airs? How is he doing it? His position has just been beautiful and a wayward hit from down air manages to clear things back up. Vivi gonna need to put in the work if he's gonna try and steal things into an even or even leaded game at this point. But Venya, <laughs> you pulled it up best, Dara. The positioning has just been ridiculous this game. Oh my god, and would you believe that, that if Vivi connected at F-Smash, that uh, would have killed Venya? Uh, it would definitely would have been close. But he, he had to lead, but unfortunately his positioning was just ever so slightly off. Oh my god, Venya's ability just to react which side of the neutral air he connected and be able to uh, go out like his boost option that quickly. Like just, oh my god, ah. Why is Double Team so safe? <laughs> Venya definitely looked at him dead in the face and was ready for that. Yeah. All right, buddy. I mean, he had the lead. He's just going to do it a little bit sooner. I think Venya got a little bit too greedy with his uh, charge on it. Vivi starting to pump up the aggression for himself. I love that fade back. Such a great approach bait, but unfortunately not being able to capitalize much on it. Great all this fear just to call out the fact that Venya was going in on him so aggressively. <gasps> if he got the forward hitbox, that would have done so. Oh all these dash attacks, too. I love that Vivi's trying to answer all of this really slick movement with hitboxes. Look at that. We got to confirm into the up air. Even accounting for Venya's DI out of the typical Aura Sphere charge confirms. And honestly, that was kind of hilarious that Vivi was just standing there. And then Venya was like, all right, I'm going to back out. And he got hit by it. And he was like, I'm going to back out again. Oh my god, that show can so, so scary. Man, Vivi is just landing on top of the stage. So scary. He's doing a really good job of mixing up how extreme suit like repositions his landings. Typically he's going for the bounce so that he can have just that little bit of being able to microspace his way away from Venya. The up deal, but not quite yet. Venya needs either like a little bit more needs or just a pylon or just a little bit more percent. <laughs> yeah. This is a deep bleed from Lucario. I would be really scared if I was Venya what? because I just got robbed! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, life comes at you fast, dog! Can we get a replay on that? You're 34! <laughs> that interaction started at 34?! <laughs> so what are you on?! Charge. Venya misses Whiff! Whiff! Okay, Hold on! Keep running, boy! Dash it. And I'm watching, watch this. Venya is gonna air dodge. No! No, he just holds that! Vivi just same day delivery to fat L to Venya for no picking no option. And that gives us the 1-1 one, one count, moving into final destination. Even though Venny is looking cool as a cucumber, you know deep in his soul, he's pissed about that I one. I hope you guys know that I almost cried after that. <laughs> Ooh. I just need like a breather. I need like a five second just to like let this game be. Just like you got five it, seconds, buddy. Five seconds of clean, quiet, neutral. Oh, you're not gonna get that. If Venny has, if Venny has anything to say, that five seconds is gonna be spent taking this stage back, putting VV out there and trying to get an early kill. Yeah. But Vivi's really talking back to him oh now. Oh my god. Finally seeing start to red align this positioning. He's just everywhere at once and he's putting hitboxes everywhere. It's so unsafe for Venya to be running around without threatening shield or even if he's trying to move back and whiff punish. Also, it's just been a mile a minute and not even Venya is able to catch up. Okay, so I feel like Vivi had a fantastic recovery then because he's always now waiting out those hydro pumps, making sure that he's not going to get hit with the win box if he went while he's up being, because that would spell imminent death. But the way he is able to bounce on this kind of a stage with his up B and snap onto ledge is genuinely fantastic. So really, really great stuff from... Uh uh, so great stuff from Vivi. And Vivi landing another F smash when that was from across the stage. Venya finally taking Vivi's first stock. And now we're going to maybe see a little bit of a slowdown in, I don't know, just how quickly stocks are being taken. Maybe, maybe not. I really couldn't tell you because this is the first time we've really seen Venya have to fight back onto even ground. 
I didn't even see him whiff things. We just watched him miss an opportunity to get his jab lock in. And it's it's rare to find that mispositioning from Venia, but the fact that he's trying to like assert himself so quickly, yeah. so aggressively, he's bound to make the mistakes here and there. The problem is that now he's all oh into the baton, who's willing to put out hitboxes as timely as he is, and neither of them can afford to make mistakes. And also, I want to just make a quick little note of something. Everybody wants to talk about how powerful Corey's Palm is or how powerful Lucario F Smash is. Nobody wants to have the conversation about Lucario's back air. Because Lucario's back air, with just a little tiny bit of aura, will be killing you at 70 or 80. Oh my god, but the aura This is why we can't talk. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have a conversation about some of Lucario's slept on aerials. Oh my Lucario's god. Lucario's the kid who, when he hears that there's a water balloon fight, <laughs> Breaks the fire hydrant. No survivors. <laughs> full ammunition. All the time. Oh my god. And you know what? Vivi had the perfect read on Venia's positioning as well. You just saw the dash back after that interaction. And he was ready to throw out the oil field, but then he decided against at the last minute. Such a lovely back as well. Oh! Yo, he really tried to do it to him. You know he what? He really did. That was the scariest position I've ever seen Venia been. Vian. He could have died. He could have just died. He looked at forward smash dead in the face and he said, it's my turn. It's my stop. Ooh, I don't think the air dodge back onto stage was necessarily optimal, but BB has the stage control. He's going to be leading a landing. And you know what? That was a 50-50. I don't blame him. Like, BB could fish all day long. Because like, if he gets it, there's no hope. Beautiful use of his momentum and his view versus there. Just to be like, he positioned himself perfectly so that the F smash would connect as soon as possible. But then also, he just like positioned himself in such a way that he would not even risk getting hit at all. So, honestly, he's just with punishing good, uh, Venia a little bit. And I feel like if Venia wants to bring this home, if Venia wants to get the bracket reset, you know, despite the aggression working out so well for him, he has to be a little bit more resilient. I don't, I don't even know how Venia can change his game plan at this point because he's been so committed to this idea of rush down, yeah. poke, kill. Like, it's worked so well for him up to this point, but that's because no one has adapted that game plan into their own style of play until Vivi. Vivi's yeah. playing incredibly similar to Venia, and even though Lucario has a different game plan than Greninja, it's working out so well. Yep, absolutely. But Venia. Like, you see Vanya going through maybe a lot more of like what he knows will work, and he's very, very patient seeing what Vivi will press before he does. Trying to follow his drift a little bit, Vivi landing on- Yo! The missile he covered with the aura sphere? Yep. Great back throw, just a little bit of stage control. That's gonna be the down throw into forward air, I believe. Ah. That was beautiful, all right, just the- was that on tackable? No, that was tackable. That, that was, was definitely tackable. Right? That was just really, really fast. And I don't blame Venia for missing the reaction time yeah. on it. Just because getting floored with that back air is ridiculous. Venia potentially on his last two stocks here. Vivi is on the verge of oh winning Xeno Saga. But honestly, that's just like a really great back air. And I feel like Vivi might want to be drifting a little bit farther off stage when he's, uh, you know, like knocked up or maybe like knocked off stage against Venia. The just problem is that if he drifts too far out, he's giving Venia all of that space to then threaten and push further out. That's true. And there's nowhere to threaten outside of the blast zone. If yeah. he's there, he's dead. Oh, and Vivi was able to get the grab, but that actually the grab traded with, uh, with a hit. So... You know, he got the grab, but then was immediately knocked out of it. This just beats paper. That's how it goes. Okay, and now... Sharp scissors. Now Venia has a very, very good lead. He just has to just capitalize on every single one of Vivi's attempts to bring this back. Don't forget, Zara, this is Lucario. Lucario from behind, he's got plenty of firepower, and it would not be the first time tonight if we see DB manage to draw victory back into this corner. And honestly, that is such a men menacing pressure from DB to do the dash back charge oil sphere. Because the dash back charge oil sphere, like at any moment, he's like, do it. I'm going to call out your impatience. You're going to dash in. You're going to jump in front of me. What are you going to do? Um, so I really, really like that from DB. Um, not entirely sure about the intentionality Ooh. behind shooting an oil sphere across the stage to Venia. It I mean, forced him to shield. It forced him to either take the hit and possibly die, or yeah. to stop what he's doing. He like, can't be running around the stage if he's in shield. 
Blue and Phoebe is starting to get a read on Benny as positioning after he gets a foiler. Even if the foiler is safe, you know what's not safe? Doing the same thing over and over. But we're hanging on the ledge for too long, just like that. We got ourselves potentially a finale oh here. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting the landing neutral out. A late, a late nair can end this. If Vivi gets a late nair. Ah, uh, and that is going to be the no, it's not. does not take it really at all. Really good DI and just not enough percentage. <gasps> what a what great curve. The young candy cane to get him in. What? Okay, that's a grab. That's a grab. Benny is off stage against Vivi. This is so dangerous. Ah, uh, uh, that's going to be the F smash. Yeah. Just like that, the game's going to slip away. We got ourselves game five, Nara. Oh, my gosh. Is your heart racing? Is your I, heart pounding? Okay. Are you feeling the pressure? This is maybe my favorite grand finals to ever happen at Xeno. Just because every single time I've seen Venia versus Vivi, and this is to Vivi's benefit, this is to like like give Vivi a compliment, it was very Venia sided. Venia has always been consistently beating Vivi on PS2, like you just see a mix and Vivi to get a little bit upset. I have never seen Vivi hold his own so well against Venia and have it be like this, like, like team punching. Like I'm we're literally shaking and crying. This, <laughs> this is, this is kind of ridiculous. It's, it really is a marvel to see because Venia is always touted as one of the finest. It's the best the city has to offer. To see anyone manage to go toe to toe to this precise of a level yeah. is what? always impressive. What but that's just heartbreaking. One t minor interaction, Vivi managed to bonk and miss the ledge. So he is starting game yeah. five with one less stop. Yeah. And if there is any player in all of the East Coast, possibly the United States, that you want to just give a free stop to, then you better be at the very bottom of that list yep. because he does not need any help to defeat anyone. So, okay, and now Venny is maybe, you know, Venny is starting to adapt to the fact that Vivi's doing these dash back shields, and so he's just going in with like these dash attacks because he knows that maybe he can contest with it a little bit since it's not fully charged yet. Um, playing go down Vivi's shield, but Vivi's sit sitting so patiently, and that is the flame trap that you have to look out for. If you play that air dodge, so be ready to get hit with that down tilt, but Vivi, a beautiful counter, and he's at 81%. All he needs is, you know, one good up throw, that's going to be 30%, but dealing 21% from one Aura Sphere. Oh my god. Well, it's effectively an even game now. Started pretty rough for Vivi, but give him a little bit, he might be able to just completely clean up the playing field. Likewise on Benia's half, he is trying to put pretty aggressively here at the ledge. But he can't really afford to get too messy with his aggression. He's got to watch those buttons as well. Yes. You know, we can give compliments to someone pressing a ton of buttons on shield all day long. But if that's a habit that starts to get adapted to, all of a sudden that pure aggression gets checked really hard. Yes, absolutely. But Vivi's unable to bring this all the way back, which is just impressive considering how early he lost the stock. <gasps> Venia had the right idea, but he had to drift back a little bit more. Vivi, the charging Aura Sphere into up air, 160%. This is so scary. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know who's going to win. I just don't know. It's been such a nail-biter of a centaur, and I don't blame you. That it's, they're playing so well. They're both uh, playing so well. And he dodge preemptively, but Venya not able to react and punish, getting the down tilt into four. Vivi has to be the eyeing out on those. Not even sure that could have saved them. Who knows? This is final stop. We either have the end of set one and another grueling potential five games ahead oh of us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Or this is end of the line. Everything rides on this last stock for these two. They just keep scrapping with each other, but Vivi is getting a little bit too antsy with these air dodges, I believe. I think Benny that has to adapt to that right now, right at this moment, or else there will not be another game for, for him to see the daylight of. Beautiful up tilt from Vivi, reading right. the fact that he was going to drift in that way with a charged oil spirit. Oh, he's trying so hard. Missed the jab, just like that. We see the parry, but he grabs the wrong way. Vivi remaining so patient. He is waiting to close the trap down on Venia. Meanwhile, Venia not committing to a lot of buttons now, just jumping, trying to stay out of the blast zone. That is Lucario's danger. And Vivi is now without a jump, but is able to land successfully with a shield, knowing that Venia wouldn't commit to anything as risky as a pick grab. Oh my god, both of them wanted that neutral air. Both of them wanted it at the same time, but Vivi hit, but he a little bit too late. Oh, uh, he's gliding around with that aura sphere. He's fighting so hard for this. And he calls it out, it. puts it out just like yeah, that. Yeah, stage control. Ah, he's setting the neutral. Venia getting the initial hit of the parry, and I believe that's a fast enough multi-hit for it to multi-parry. What a landing oh, and what a my call God. out just like that. We have the reset uh, bracket. Another five games. Ninja.
Oh All right, guys. nerves are shot, but we are not out of it just yet. Neither is Benny or nor Vivi. It's a long I'm, ride I'm... for us, little buddy. Okay, I have a question. Let's you want to get food after this? I'm definitely down. I'm okay, down. that is so hype. That is so hype. If there's any person I love getting food with, it's you. You're just, you're just a good person to sit down and eat with. I just want to let you know. Um, guys, if you're ever in Long Island or New York City and playing Kazuga, please go and grab something to eat with him. He's a fantastic guy. But game one of the bracket reset. We're going to get back to final destination of true finals. And this is this is no more winners and losers. This is even ground. This is exactly what Benny wanted. Maybe a lot bloodier of a battle than he was expecting. But this is exactly where he needs to be. Yeah. Now, he has taken Vivi off that pedestal. He's put him in the works. He needs to just take the next three games away from him. But, as we've learned from tonight's bracket, that is much easier said than done. And again, Venia, like, he's right there. He's ready for that air dodge, but I'm just confused as to why he's not able to punish the neutral air dodge in time. The problem is, is that both of these characters are able to put out panic options that are that leads into so much. Yeah. And they're both very aware of that. So they have to figure out, can they make the call out? And they have to weigh that against, how hard are they going to get blown up if they make this mistake? Oh my god, and that's almost a suck, but Vivi not deciding to back here try to punish Venya's high recovery there. Really fortunate for Venya, not oh, so much for Vivi. We got Vivi. a situation on our hands, Zara. Right there, when we saw Vivi manage to get his Aura Sphere connection, we saw Venya DI outwards. He's starting to adapt now to how Vivi was catching in with up air. That's the initial mix-up. Now Venia is positioning himself to die from yeah. back there, or to just get further pressure from forward or and, and Venia, beautiful forward throw. I mean, when you're a character as, uh, I mean, I don't want to say that Lucario is particularly light, but Lucario isn't exactly the heaviest fella on the block either. Yeah, he's a weird weight, like I mentioned. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like it's just like his weight really betrays his air speed. Because he, he has the like the air speed and the air mobility of like somebody who's like, I don't know, like Jigglypuff weight, but... You know, he, he does, he can live with considerably longer than you think. Um, okay, that position from Venya was absolutely beautiful because that is going to be the force pump. He just teleports the blossom. But I do want to say a little something about that down tilt. He could have reversed his down tilt either way using the C stick, and that would have effectively covered neutral get up, get up attack, and roll all at once. And Vivi does not want to be jumping in on a Greninja who's at roll distance because that is an imminent up smash for sure. One thing I would like to see out of Vivi, even though we can give these guys so much praise, there's always something to build up on. I'd like to see him start to angle his shield a little bit. And I know that that's a hard manual commitment because yeah. you have to be so ready to input your next out of shield punish. But Venia keeps on peeking away at his shield and then taking advantage of the weakened shield by shield poking with a number of moves. Yeah. Whether it's down to even dare, I've seen now at several points poke into Lucario's fat head. Absolutely. Like, you have to be ready to have variable defenses, especially against a character like Ninja, who can either cross you up or just mix you up on where he's going to be striking so mm -hmm. fast and so often. But Venya, I feel like now has a really, really convincing lead, and he also has the momentum. This is looking a little bit like the sets that we would see Venya traditionally fight going so deep through the edge guard. Lucario Ooh. is still able to make it back. Honestly, one of the, it's not necessarily the safest recovery, but if you have to get back deep, it's, you know, much like Village using Sunset, it will get the job done. I hope these guys don't have to worry too much about getting themselves back onto the stage. They're getting there almost, but, uh... Now, I'm a little bit con Okay, beautiful jump call. I'm a lot of bit concerned. I'm a hell of a uh, lot concerned. Don't worry, many of these guys Past tense, because many had just hit the old, hit the old spicy, spicy oh, down tilt for the it confirm, hit kill, that's how it goes. The game one of the new set going into Venia's favor. And is I this it? Is the vice starting to close down on Vivi? He doesn't have that extra set comfort anymore. Look how focused Vivi, I mean, uh, Venia is. Venia is just like, he's like steadfast. He's, he's relaxed, he's calm, he's composed. He's not indifferent. Like to people, like, like you might say like at first glance, oh no, he doesn't care. He does care. He cares so much, and he cares so much to the fact that, to the extent that he is forcing himself, his composure, he's not shaking, he's not showing any signs of nervousness, he does not show fear to Vivi. Venny is a gentleman who's very good at keeping his emotions to himself and outwardly remaining composed. He needs to do that because he's so invested in how well he's playing that even though it's not showing on his face, he is just as pressured as any person would be in this kind of situation. Yes, sir. Victory is right within his grasp. He just needs two more games to do And it. that should be the stock. Yes, absolutely. He does have a little bit of landing lag like that when he's not entirely sure about the counter for BB. But I also feel like 
you, every single person is nervous. Every player is nervous. Even top players get nervous. It's just the way that people deal with their nerves is different. You can't get rid of them. You can never get rid of them, but just the way that Venny is able to understand that he has to keep his composure regardless is honestly breathtaking. Like these guys are still playing just as beautiful as they started the set. The issue is that they're adapting to each other in the in the short run so quickly now that they need to change up how they're striking. And I just feel, oh my god. That should be the edge guard. Evie missing the tech, unfortunately. Once again, he has to find a way to get back on. And even going so high, Venny is ready with his back end. Yo, he called him out with a two. And again. And how about another call out? This just keeps happening. Over and over. Oh my god, that's a directional air dodge. Evie has to be wary of that shield button that he keeps pressing when he's in the air. Evie, press one button less, please. This is just ridiculous. You know, you hear people time and time again complaining bracket when they get Lucario shenanigans happen to them once. Maybe once in a set, or once a day even, when you travel to a tournament. Imagine being Venia, who has now at this point gotten hit confirmed slaughtered by a VV at yep. least once a game. For what's going on now, it's the seventh game of just Grand Finals. That's not accounting for the five that occurred on the winner's side. And honestly, that was such a great recovery mix up from Venia there, because he drifted just out of range for VV to be able to back out him off to the blast zone. So just really, really great play from him. This is so scary. He has full, well he does not have full yet until he takes Venia's right. next stock, but Venia has to hold on to the stock for dear life. Committing to those force pumps, it's those 50-50s, and that is a back air. You saw how early he died to that? And now he, this is it, this is prime We've seen this situation so many times, yo. VV cannot <laughs> lose one exchange. He's at 138, he will die to anything that yeah. Venia will throw at him. Imagine looking at the screen and thinking you have a lead. Imagine thinking you're safe. Honestly, could not be me. <laughs> could it be anyone in this building except oh my God. maybe Venia? Beautiful, beautiful Aura Sphere there. Be spot dodging through the grab. Venia has to find a way to land. Vivi has all of the center stage. Oh! Yo, he's trying to get him. He Vivi caught on to the forward DI out of Aura Sphere. He's trying to catch yep. up with the cannonball itself. Oh my God, and that dash is going to be called out with the falling right now Venia is up 2-0 about to make this reset on Vivi he has to man I don't know what Vivi has to even do it's just so difficult to even gauge something like that I think it's just a matter of composure like we saw in game we saw that Vivi I don't want to say he's starting to fall apart because he's still netting ridiculous kills he's still expertly piloting his way yeah. around Venia's Greninja but the pressure I think is finally starting to surmount over Vivi there's only so many ways that you could build yourself around this kind of ridiculous of a situation. And Venny has been here so many times before. Yep. Maybe this is due ground to have a Venia from behind striking down a Bono. And now Venia 2-0 over him in the reset grand finals on the verge of completely stealing victory away from Vivi. This is the proving ground that Venia has waited for all tournaments. And now Venya, he's a little bit more, he, I feel like right now he's playing a little bit more confidently as well. He, we get, we're seeing those falling neutral into neutral that we've been seeing from him before that he stopped doing a little bit of, wow, BB just outside of the standing grab range. I've never noticed how blue Lucario's standing grab was. Not only is it not a particularly good grab, but Greninja leans his head very far forward, so mm. grabbing from behind Kinda not the best of moves. Smash is very unique in that, where you have to pay attention if you're striking on someone in front or behind them. Yeah. It's funny like that. And honestly, charging Aura Sphere at the ledge like that is so particularly scary, like menacing. Just because if Venia misbases his like, like approach back onto stage, that will be a charge into a back air, a charge into an up air, I believe. That looks like the, oh, I thought he was going to play the up throw. And Venia, like, once again, like, he positions himself in such a way where he can punish those directional air dodges, but chooses not to. Now, so unfortunate that Vivi was not able to connect the force pump in. Vivi keeps on going for these grab mix-ups, and he's just getting blown up for it each and every time. He's not putting out a hitbox, but he has remaining patience. He's not throwing out that shield. Oh! 
but we tried to seal to do it to them below the ledge. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been that would have been nice. That would have been absolutely such fun. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Unfortunately, that is now in the past. Venya able to land an up into an up -air. Maybe trying to weed Vivi's hastiness to get back down. Vivi has to stop pressing these buttons. Ah, uh, Venya not committing to anything like a dash attack if you have to guys. And Elio to punish Vivi for that directional air dodge. Back though, we assert stage control for himself. Takes him off off the ledge. And Vivi, not at that bad of a deficit. In the grand scheme of things, we've seen the 2-2 count on stocks with Vivi. Bleeding a lot heavier through the fur. This is not looking that bad of a situation for him. And to see BB possibly somehow to come back now of all times, is leaving my shot nerves already further de deeper. All right, that's a call out. All right, yeah. throwing out the hitboxes, knowing that it takes a little bit of start to really get things going for BB. <gasps> and BB missing his directional air dodge. And it's not stage. starting up fast enough. So unfortunate. Like that's the thing with most directional air dodges and ultimate. If you miss it, you're just gonna drift off so slowly into the blossom. Ugh. And I feel like that right now is a momentum killer. Then he is just racking up this damage. Oh my god. The more and more this game three is advancing, the more it looks like the guillotine is coming down on BB. Yep. But he is not. Is out what of you it. would say because <laughs> BB just landed an F smash. Yo, and my when it goes break every time. I hate Lucario, bro. Oh my god. Okay, Venya landing a great falling back here. Gets the stage control, but VV able to quickly tune it around with a back throw off the stage. Oh, that was uh, clean movement, but get called out by the forward smash. And that DI was not perfect either. Oh my god, that was so scary because Venya oh. looked like he was ready to F smash. Venya unable to punish the F smash on his show. That was a really weird hitbox interaction there as well. And out of that little scuffle, we see Vivi's the one who takes control. And that is the force palm not taking it quite yet. Not taking it quite yet, as though I expected. Oh, event. how about that? Okay, gamers, we're back in it. Yep, Vivi's last ride's not over just yet. It's a 2 1 count as Vivi starts his comeback. Can Venia secure his win? Will the ride ever end? I don't know. I don't know. Stop battle, Ninja. What is this set? Like, this is a good set. This is some good smash. New York bringing you top class today. Okay. Okay, I just have to, more, I have to take a couple of deep the breaks. We're going to Final Destination. Like, it seems every time Venia has a stock advantage, I hate how it's like, yeah, BB can come back from this. Yeah, BB can just S smash him and kill him at 40. It's not even like it's a comeback at this point. It has been so repetitive, and it's almost like Benny is at a disadvantage with the stock lead. It's a paradoxical situation to lose for winning. <laughs> yep. But BB has managed to make this tournament his story because of it. Uh, Venia, once again, trying to maybe get a push on uh, on PB, trying to connect the winbox, not connecting it. And I see as like the set goes on longer and longer, Ven BB has adapted so well to Venia's uh, Hydro Pump off stage that like he just doesn't get hit by the winbox at all. Getting hit with the secondary hit of the up smash, unfortunate for Venia. Okay, that love it. You gotta love it. Talk to him. Talk to him, darling. He just. He did he be reverse his neutral B, then jump back on, and just so like he completely threw off Venya's momentum. But despite that amazing movement, he is going to be losing the first stock of this game for so far. Venya never really cares how clean the movement of his opponent is because it's always just an opportunity for him yep. to upstage them. But it really don't matter. It really doesn't matter. And it's like, it's, it's like so upsetting like how much of this movement is actually necessary to navigate around all of Greninja's specific and giant hitboxes. Like, never before have I seen Vivi display such masterful control of Lucario for such a long period of time. And it's only getting better as the night has been going. This might be the best oh my that God. Vivi has what, ever played. What a great Oilers failure because if Venya had air dodge, Vivi could have rushed and been able to, like, just make the most out of that, like, punish. Okay, so brilliant. Just like catching the fact that BB is going to release his shield or maybe possibly jump out of shield at that perfect moment. Um, so brilliant stuff from Benny. Hunting around for a hit confirm. Neither of these guys want to commit too hard right now because this is where the danger's at. Look at these late nairs slowly dragging Benny away. 
but you gotta help Venia is staying committed to staying near center stage. He needs that ground to fall back on because extreme speed repositions Lucario so yeah. fast, so aggressive that holding the ledge is not enough for Greninja. And I think that's why we've had such an even game thus far, is that Vivi, no matter where he is, is threatening space away from Venia. There's yep. no safe landings for either character. <gasps> and unfortunately, falling out of the back end, that was a little bit, he hit him with just a little tippy toe. He got a Phantom Footstool. Van well, I'm not even sure that's a Phantom Footstool, but that is going to be the up kill. Not taking it quite yet, but the next one certainly will. It seems like Lucario needs to be north of 185 for that to kill. We've seen a couple of times Lucario is yeah. in this threshold and doesn't work. Every time he just dashes it behind Greninja, I get so scared. It's such a scary place to be in. And that is Yeah, that's scary. There you go. We got him out of here. Okay, Vivi, exhaling. This is it. Like, I hate the fact that I'm saying this, but he can come back from this. He's done it before. He's done it before just in this reset grand finals. He's done it just before within all of grand finals. And look and at this. He's getting semis. Them. He's done it all night. He's getting the leads on Venia. He's like just like dashing back following his drift. He, all he has to do now is capitalize on it at the perfect moment. Venia making the most out of his falling nails, but be able to retort with his own rising forward and off the stage to reset neutral effectively. And a call out with a quick attack just like that. That is not going to be the drag down. That is going to be the full up air into another up air. Right now, Vivi making the most out of those beauty voices to help mix up his momentum and land. Just such excellent, excellent play from Vivi right now. Once and again, again, caught up the ledge from a huge aura okay, sphere. Okay, okay, okay. you just waited. you just sat there. <laughs> Vivi, Vivi was just moving around and you was like, absolutely not, big boy. I'm just going to... Okay. <laughs> What a fantastic berry. Imagine if Venia messed up on that, how much percent he would have taken through just getting hit by that brave stuff to hailing a projectile like that. And that, oh, oh my god. god. Uh, oh my god, that is a falling. I believe the neutral into the air dodge, getting a footstool, not being able to connect the down smash in time. Vivi was able to shield. This is so scary right now. The last hit of back here, managing to catch Vivi at max rage. His aura is clocking in heavily. Okay. The 56%, fact this is. A very good situation for Vivi to bring us into game five. He is one hit confirm away. My heart is racing. When Venia just waits, that is the scariest Venia. Because he waits. He knows you, but that is a dash attack it. into Florida. 3-1 in reset grands. The combatants shake their hands. And Venia is your Xenosaga XXX X. champion. Oh my god, what did we just walk? I don't feel worthy that's, enough. That's set. I don't feel worthy to have been the commentator for the set. I just don't. We wrote it out the whole way. God I'm damn.